Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey and today we have another video utilizing the new stuff that we get during the spring update and one of them is the stone one and as you can see we can finally press rocks, we can break them and then they'll become one level at the same time if you put them together they also become like a big rock, like a big boulder so it's so exciting. At the same time, we also have the diving helmet. And as you can see, we can use the tools and put rocks under the water. So why am I showing this? It's because we are gonna use these two tools to improve an area that I always wanted to have rocks. And that's gonna be the lighthouse. I want the lighthouse to actually have a rock formation in the bottom of the vase. And what better way to actually do that then utilizing the new tools. So I get to showcase the new tools, how we can to use them using the diving helmet because now we can improve rocks under the water as well, use the tools and improve this area. Because one of the things that I wanna show up on all this new update is how great we're gonna be able to use all these new tools and to make builds and make areas that we didn't even think of before to have like rock formation or a, a rock slide or just big boulder, just scenarios that we need rocks. So the, the first thing that I knew right away, I wanted the outskirt, the formation, the around the lighthouse to be rocky. I always wanted that. If you go back to the lighthouse builds when, when we did that video, I talked about it. So we tried to imitate it with some cement we made some cement pillars and uh, we came out like the structure of the pillar is breaking and all that maybe it's an old lighthouse but truly truly what i really wanted my truly inspiration to make this build even more real than before is i really wanted rocks coming from the ocean and they're like stuck to the lighthouse right and that sounds simple but at the same time it was a challenge I'm telling you, it was a challenge to actually being able to make it look natural. Like this rock formation was formed from the ocean with different levels. So at first, as you're seeing, I went ahead and I took out all the cement. We went ahead, grabbed all the tiles, took them all off, and then I started placing the rocks. First thing that I noted is like uh, the sand, the sand's in the way. So now I gotta start thinking a little bit more outside the box. At first I started from the bottom and coming my way up. But then I noticed this is not gonna work because I got all this sand in and I don't want the sand to show that much, right? And then I went ahead, I went back and I look at all my reference pictures of the lighthouse that I was looking at and the one that I was looking at was in the ocean, right? So the lighthouse that I was referencing, it was in the ocean and you have this rock formation where the waves are hitting it. And as I was looking at that, I noticed one thing is now that I can do a rock formation, well, at first I have it a little too high. So as, we, as we're gonna be working on this video, you're gonna see the struggles. The struggle to actually make this look realistic, look natural. So the, and, and the funny part is that this is a video that is using just basically the stone one. That's all we're doing. We're, we're, we're trying to make something to look very natural that belongs where we're gonna be putting it and how just to make it fit, right? And all we're using is the one to, so it's a great showcase and also the different levels and how the different combinations of the stone in different angles, in different situations can actually make the realism happen. But we have to go back and forth, back and forth, fly up, keep looking at it, lowering it, raising it, put it next to the side, raising one corner, making it higher again, and it was, it, it was a struggle. At first, I really thought that I could not make this happen. Like I was, I, I just could not make it. It was looking very ugly. It, it just looked like a big, just, it, it looked like man-made and it wasn't like that look that it would feel natural. And at first, it was, one of my first mistakes was that I wasn't lowering the rocks fast enough. I kept them high because I was thinking, oh, I wanna hide all the sand. And that was my approach. And as you can see right here, everything looks to perfection, right? Um, I'm trying to hide the sand. Everything is in the same level. But as I kept going, it became this bulky rock 
sensation look that it just did not belong and as i flew with the helicopter just kept flying with the helicopter just looking at it from different angles above and all that it was not working but as you can see i haven't got to that point yet because once i get to that point you're gonna see what i mean it just looks too too big too too bulky too perfect and it doesn't have that natural feel and and uh and this video is easy. I, I, I want you guys to understand that it's, it's a lot. It's a long video just showcasing a rock structure. Try to make it feel natural and then adding a few elements at the very end. At the same time, I wanted to showcase the the scuba diver, uh, the driving, uh, the diving helmet because it's, it's very cool and how we can now walk on water and build and all of that. But at the same time, you know, if you want, just go ahead and you can scroll almost to the end if you really just want to see the ending just how everything looks at the end but this what i'm showing here in today's showcase is the tool that is great but how can we make it and use it and the different techniques that we can learn from watching this video to apply a more realistic and a more natural look so one of the things that we want to talk about is how when you put multiple rocks, right? Everything starts attaching together. It just becomes uh, one big rock and it's, it's, and it's very cool, right? It's just, it gives it that look of, of more. But the, the one thing that I, uh, is happening is everything is just perfect, as you can see right here. And this is when I started realizing I wasn't, I wasn't, I just don't like it. And it doesn't have and it just became this high big thing and it's making my lighthouse the base too thick and that's when I said it before early in the video once I pull up my reference picture once again I noticed that I started the formation way too high and I needed more areas that are lower and then higher and breaking and just to feel different right but I'm right here, I'm still continuing. I'm still trying to figure this out. And as you can see, it's just putting every every rock in one lane is not it's not the, the best way to approach, especially the way that I want this build to look and feel. That is just in the ocean, that it feels, that it's just breaking over time. It's just all this formation, it's just building and all that. And one of the things that we do at the end that is really great is we start adding a little bit of greenery because some of the picture you see kind of algae and all that, but we don't have algae. We don't have nothing like that that we can make it work in that way. But we do use just the plain green bush in specific areas. And that brings a little bit more to life. It gives some spaces to the build in the areas that we need to. We, we start breaking passageway, a uh, passage and just kind of just break things up. But of course that's more down the road. So here, I'm still going at it. I wasn't, I, I just needed to see it. And I remember building it. I was like, well, let me see how it looks once I wrap around. And you know, and um, one thing, like I always say in the videos, if you like this style, if you like the way it looks, then it's great, right? Then it's, it's easier and you're done and, and it's great. But at the same time, you know, you, you can visualize this idea and the, all, the way all the rocks are placed and maybe for something else, maybe you get inspired for something else that's different, something that we can use like this. If you have an idea of what we can use a scenario like this, leave it in the comments, let me know because then I may get inspired to do something with that. But right now, it's just not working. You see how everything is just, especially it's very big. It goes up too high now. It makes everything too wide. So at first I was like, oh man, my lighthouse is just getting ruined. It's just, it's not having that feel that I want that looks natural, that it looks like it belongs there. So now here, you see how I broke that one and you see now those three right there, how they attach together. Now I'm starting to see all the possibilities. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so if I attach three like that in corner, the rocks kind of change a little bit different. So that it started making my mind wonder about different combinations. But as you can see, I'm still going and I'm still like adding the rocks where I kind of wanted them to be. And then what happens is just we're gonna backtrack and work and work and then work some more. And this is the points of designing that you can either give up, you can get frustrated, 
you can get disappointed. You know, I, I, I know I know sometimes, you know, when, when, when we are designing, we want everything to happen on the first shot. We want it just to be perfect the way we want it. And then sometimes when things don't work the way we want, we're willing to work at it and change it. But then if it doesn't change quick enough, we can give up. And we, and we may give up a little bit too quickly sometimes. So in this particular build, this is just one session. This is not a street, this is not a corner. This is just a little stonework that we're working here, a rock formation. And the struggle was real. And I wanna show you that and I wanna talk about that because those are the type of struggles that as designer, as creators, we go through. You know, to make something better and more real and more just some to bring something into income you know to that level especially the level that i, I want to contribute for you guys you know the level of quality of the bills and that what's the best approach you know and the motivation because i have you guys listening watching commenting that motivation that i get from you guys is why i don't give up so easily you know and and, and i know for a fact, I was a little frustrated because I could not get the feel of a natural rock formation to happen. So here we start the beginning. So now I knew we were gonna change this. And now I gotta start working with different heights. So, so what you're gonna start seeing is me breaking rocks, trying different height levels. And the first thing that I needed to think and forget about is the sand. That was the first thing I needed to just Take out of my mind. Don't worry about the sand right now. Just get the level right. Get the height that you want. Find the formation. See what happens when you break the rocks and how is it looking. And then start making a pattern. So what you're seeing right here is I'm just going randomly just, okay, let's break this one here, bring it to one level. Break this one over here, bring it to another level. Let's break this one over here, bring it to another level. And then raise other areas and see how that's looking and just give it a try. And you, as you can see right here, I'm doing just that. So I rose one level, then raise another one, put it then that one that's raised, put the rocks and then make them the smaller rocks, just a little more flat so we can have different heights. And then what happens when you put a rock on the front? And then as you can see, we're working with the levels, we're working with the heights. And this is basically gonna be it. This is really all the rest of the video is working at it, just tweaking at it, finding the thing, fly around, get everything that you need and just keep picking at it. And really, when I mean picking at it, that's what we're doing, we're picking at it. It's to get it to the point that for me, I need it to be, to the point that I always feel satisfied and good to be able to show you this, you know? And this is an amazing tool. So let's not forget about the tool right now, the stone one. What amazing tool. Just before I was able to get the test update, I remember talking in the video of the last uh, the last coastal town section of uh, build video, right? And I, I remember mentioning saying, man, it'd be so nice if we can add rocks because I kind of wanted to add rocks in, in, in the gardens, in the areas. And I just, I was picturing maybe, maybe we can build fake rocks or maybe he lets us at some point build our own rocks, you know, because we collect the little one and then you can just build a big one. Never, I never expected that James will do this tool. And it's such an amazing tool because we don't have to craft it. We don't have to just collect materials to create rocks. And the great thing about it is, is as, as I'm working with the rocks, as you see, and as I'm breaking it, we get materials out of them. So it's another bonus, you know, uh, that extra bonus, he didn't even have to do that because he could have just said, hey, what you're making here are fake rocks. So when you break it, you get nothing. But that way, we have more reasons to keep going to the mines, to go around our islands and collecting rocks. But no, he actually gave us a little bonus for us when we break and just building like this and you gotta destroy them, we are getting a bonus. We're getting bonus material. And not just rock, you also get all the type of material, shiny rocks, and it's just great. It's, it's an extra bonus. As designer, as builders, we are getting extra materials. And how happy is that, right? It's just, it's great. So the stone one, it was a big surprise, made me very happy. I can't wait to go back to some areas and just kind of add a rock here and add a rock over, over there just to see what it brings to the bill, right? 
and that's the other thing, you know, I, I got so many ideas and I don't know if I just continue go forward, go back to my other bills and do a little just just adding some of the new stuff just to see what happens on the bill or just con keep continuing making bills. And we'll see what we feel. We'll see how we continue and I keep trying the update and see what we find and where it's gonna lead me. And it maybe just to a brand new bill or updating a bill. And this one, it was one of those that is basically we are updating a bill. We are making it more real. We are making it work. And we are, you are gonna see the struggle what it takes sometimes and how how much we have to work and change and try and that's and that's the key you know i i have a few people that have asked me has mentioned me on discord and they ask you know sometimes they can't get their bills right you know you can't get it there and i and the first thing that i tell them the first thing that i write back is always don't give up and i truly mean it don't give up on your bill take a break come back don't give up you're gonna get frustrated i write that because I get frustrated and that's why I say it sometimes we are gonna get frustrated when we're working on a bill because we have a set in our mind we know what we can do and we can see it in the income we can see it we can build it but sometimes that struggle can get you you know because you don't see the movement so for example what you're seeing right now in the screen the reason I got frustrated sometimes is because I could not find a pattern I could not find the right way Am I too high? Am I too low? Am I too far? And this is too wide, too skinny. It took me trial after trial after trial, coming back, try it again, make this this section a little more skinny, make this section a little bit, a bit longer. Maybe this section needs to be higher. Maybe I need to go higher, lower, higher. You know, I'll have a dip in the middle. And it and that's and that's what it takes. You know. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you ever to give up on your builds. You know, um, reach out, put a picture in my Discord, ask me questions. If you want my honest opinion, put it there. I'll answer it. I'll get to it and then I'll answer it and I see if I can help you out in, in some way to give you advice. But at the same time, the community is great. There's in people in chat, people in different places are just amazing. Keep looking at inspiration, keep looking at pictures. And, I, and this one is the big one. Look at real life. What you can find online about builds, about real nature, about how something should look, that can inspire you so much. And that's what I use in my build, is inspiration. And then it's how to bring it into the income. How can you make this work into the income? And then fig then you have to figure out how big, how small, how big to make the spaces. And that's when the fun part of designing comes in. And it's always gonna be fun, designing, creating, and all of that. But at the end, you know, if that's hard, and you can do that. And I, and I know some of you have wrote me and you guys have said, I don't have the imagination. I, I, I don't know how to do it. I, I'm looking at picture, but I don't know how to bring it in. Then guys, this is why I make the videos. This is why we're here. And I know this is why you guys are watching the channel is to get inspired and then copy it. Copy it to the finest detail. And then as you're copying the bill and the layout, don't forget, you, I promise you, you are gonna get inspiration that is gonna lead you to add something different that I didn't do because your taste is always gonna be different than my taste. You may like to see my island, but once you start decorating, you may want a whole different lamp. You may want a whole different flower. You may want to raise something a little bit higher, and that's great, you know? And at the end, a build should make you happy. It's, that's the goal, it's your island, it's your playground, it's your world. And at the end, that's the goal, is that when you log into your island, not to my island and not to your friend's island, it's your island. Once you log into your island, you wanna be happy. You wanna be able to see your bill and be like, I did that, I'm amazed and I'm happy. And then you put in your own twist into it, you know? And that's why, you know, don't ever feel you know, like to ask permission or something like that to, to copy my bill or anything like that because you don't have to. You know, I create this and all this bill is for you guys. Yeah, it's in my island and I'm proud of them, you know, and I wanna keep just pushing the limits and keep building more and more and more scenarios 
you know, and I got ideas for different towns, for different themes, and all the new items. It's just, it's gonna be an amazing journey in the Dincom community, in the Dincom world, you know. Landscapings are changing, waterfalls, streams, canals. There's so much potential that we're getting. And this is just a spring update. Who knows what we're gonna get on on the summer update. I, I just, it's better not even to think about it because <laughs> I, I just need to absorb right now what are we getting on the spring update, you know, but at the end, as you're listening and as you're watching, and if you're still here with me, it's because you like designing, you like decorating, you like creating a town, building layouts, and that's why you're here. And just my message to you today is to don't give up. Don't ever give up. Take a break, come back to it. And if we need to take it down, let's take it down and let's restart it. Because I done that many times. And this, this is one of the videos that I, I can speak about that the most. Because most of the time I do work off camera. And that way the videos are not fo so long for you guys. I try my builds sometimes beforehand, before I bring it here. You know, that way when I start recording, I got most of the idea and then we tweak it and then we do the layout. A lot of you guys, if you guys are new, you guys know that I work a, a lot of it, my initial design, I put them into a graph paper first. That way I can kind of have the layout so I can visualize it. That way I can bring it into the income. But I, it's that, it's just, it's exciting. Uh, at the end, at the end, it's exciting. And showing this, the struggle, how many times I broke a rock, just to re-put it and then to break it and then to lift it up again, that's the struggle. And sometimes it's real, it's real. Uh, I don't want you to guys ever feel like, oh, he designed so good and that's so quickly, you know? And, and there's so many other amazing designers out there that they may have a style that you like the most, you know? And then follow them, follow them, check them out, get inspiration, the official, uh, Dincom Discord has so many, many, many creators that don't have channels, but they post their pictures and they're amazing pictures, you know? And and there's so much inspiration from there, you know? And a lot of the community, they know uh, one person, just by mentioning the name, a lot of people know who, who he is. And he's Benny, Elementary, Elementrix Bill. And he's top level creator. What he comes up with is amazing, you know? I get inspiration from him, you know? I'm always searching for inspiration from creators, from real life, and that's something that we need to do. Something that we need to do every day, especially when you have an idea, get inspired, find it, research it, you know? But at the same time, there's amazing builders out there that can do it on just winging it. How they do it is incredible. And I can mention, uh, we got KD Gentleman, uh, amazing, content creators and they just build just on the spot you know that they, they don't overthink it they just i want this year and they make it work and it looks great uh rips gaming is another person amazing builds amazing islands just incredible you know and there's people like that there's people like that that they don't need to plan too much they can just tweak it as they go and build it you know and it's great you know and that's why i mentioned them you know uh, we got spec bikes as well amazing person her landscaping the way she decorates with trees flowers everything is just amazing just it's, it's incredible you know and we got creators out there you know that they just do day by day play you know true blue is one of them and he just plays dinkum one day at a time it's very relaxing you just watch him day by day he may do something he may go fishing and that's another way to do Dinkum. And, and there's many ways that you can play this game. I'm a designer. I love designing in games. This is, Dinkum has been such a blessing, so, such a way to just expand the creativity that we get and to talk with you guys and you guys be able to listen. It's, it's just, you know, and just interacting with each other and just talking with each other in Discord, in the YouTube chat, in Twitter, in anywhere where we can talk. It's just amazing and I can't express how wonderful that is. But okay, I was I talk a lot there because now we get to a point that I can actually talk a little more about what's happening. Okay, so what's happening? 
the main thing is I started now breaking. I, I, I figured out that everything was too, too much bulk. That was the main problem for me, you know. So I actually pull up more pictures of a lighthouse. Lighthouses are actually in the ocean, surrounded by water. And one thing that I noticed that helped me out is I noticed that water comes into the rocks, right? You got like these vines of water creeping in into the lighthouse. Sometimes you got rocks there, sometimes there's not. Sometimes they just cover with water. So what I was thinking is, how can I make that effect happen here? So basically, it's, I just just broke in into the middle and just kind of one section break it in there and then just break it on the other side, break it a little more from the other side and just kind of, and then start making a little more flat and then have a little more rocks under the water. Since the decom water is so clear, let's make that effect that is actually spreading out. And then one of the reasons we got lighthouses is because there's this, dangerous rock formation right that is that's that's why we put a lighthouse we don't we don't want the sailboats to crash into it or to hit it because there's there's this just rocks everywhere you know and it's dangerous so so what i was thinking is okay so let me spread them out a little bit more and start working on it and i'm still working on the levels as you can see i'm still just putting a rock here lowering it putting it down, raising it back up. The other thing is I add in a little bit of green. So the only green that I can think of that will work very well is just the normal green bush, just plain green. What's gonna happen, we're gonna sleep. At some point in this video, we're gonna just sleep, spam it just a little bit because I needed to see how the bushes were gonna grow. Then the other idea, if you go back to my video, my original lighthouse video and you scroll down to the comments, somebody commented that you should do like a little shipwreck idea, right? And I remember that comment because that, that was such a good idea that I wanted to do one day in an actual area, but this area needed something else, N needed something that I can use to kind of block specific places so, so it can make it look better. So what ended up happening is I was like, I'm gonna crash this boat and just crash it in, see how it lands. As you see, I'm holding the bottom. I'm trying to see how the boss is gonna land and how it's gonna fit. I just kinda wanted to kinda the rocks get inside the boat by looking at it and it just, just ram it, ram it into it. And that's what we're doing right here. Again, boom, boom. This one actually landed on the rocks and I wanted to make that feel. I needed to make a few more boats so we went ahead and make more boats and all that. I did try barrels, I did try crates and they wasn't working because I, I wanted those more kind of to feel like a floating feeling and I could make them maybe if we had a barrel that was actually laying sideways instead of like standing up, maybe sideways. And you know, that could be a good item that could be added later on somehow, you know, decorated purposes, different tones too. But, you know, I, I could not make that effect work and I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time because my mind, my mind was focused on the rocks, on this, sculpture rock formation that we're still trying to do here and as you can see it's getting better right it's getting better and like i always say don't forget always look at it from different angles stand on it see how you see it see how it looks from from the side from the top from the right right everywhere you know and that's what we're doing here but again once again i still need to make this feel and there's some key mo spots that i wanted to feel like still we got the boat crashing this one was a little too high you saw how the boat but it felt like it was just floating so by lowering a little bit now it makes it feel better and that's what we're doing we're just crashing the boat have fun with it if you get to this point and you're following this bill and you want and you already did your lighthouse and you want to do something like this go nuts if you want to create a little feel of this like there's some boats that just kind of crashed into it just to give it something and i know and i know the point of the lighthouse is for the boats not to crash but if this is a little more aesthetic look and more visualization and more of a little designer, you know, put a little flair into the build just to, just to give us something. But it's because I remember that idea and this is why I value your comments. Don't ever doubt it. Don't ever worry what you're gonna write, good or bad, always write it because I value those comments because the comments that you will leave today may not be exactly for right away, but I remember them. And that's what happened here, I remember. And I was like, that's, I, I can make this work now here. Because before, with the cement pillars, it was not gonna look great. But now, it looks great and it just matches and all of that. 
Okay, so the next thing that I was feeling, something that now was bothering me, and it always bothered me from day one, but I never kind of went back to the lighthouse, is I the platform where the boat were supposed to park, it wasn't big enough, it just didn't feel right. And now that I was, I moved those boats out of the way, you, I was like, you know what? I wanted to make a little longer. I wanna make like this little parking spots with kinda in the water, but boats, jet skis can kinda park on the entrance way. We finally took that boulder out. Now that we can walk on water, woo! I love that. Now we can, I took that one out and now we can actually do this. Originally, that was part why I never did it. I had that rock down there and it's just, it was stuck, you know? I couldn't do anything about it. But now with the diving helmet, we are able to do this and it's just exciting. And and this is why our builds now are gonna get even better. What we're doing today is is a testimony of how Dinkum is, is improving for us builders, for us creators, for people that like to decorate with items, just a simple decoration or just going all in and, and making the impossible possible in Dinkum. And it's just, just, just great. Okay, so now here we are again. I'm still working. There's still areas that don't feel right. So here we are again. I'm like, I don't know, that looks too sharp. What about if I put a rock, lower it in? Just break that one, raise it here. And this is, once again, this is the struggle. This one, I, I honestly can say this. This was hard. This was one of my hardest things to do in Dinkum. I built many things. I tried many things. I just did a humongous waterfall build. This was hard. Creating a rock formation like this with rock, with different levels to make it feel, in my opinion, to make it feel as natural as I can, like it was naturally formed and not man-made. Honestly, this was the biggest challenge I've done in Dinkum. And the funny part is, is because it's, I, I remember telling Nestor, I was like, I can knock this out in 10 minutes. I'm like, this is gonna be easy. And this is gonna be a quick video. I can do a turnaround on it and get the content for you guys out there. And you guys have something else showcasing the new, two of the new items and just, and it wasn't. <laughs> Hours went by, <laughs> Hours went by and I could not get this going. Oh, but at the end result, and I remember when I finally felt that like it's like, I got it. And then you kind of walk away because you don't want to touch it again. You're like, I don't want to touch this anymore. I think I got it. And and once I got to that point, I was happy. Like always, I, I do feel like there might be a couple more areas, more areas that maybe I can improve. And maybe I do go back, maybe as with a refreshed mind, I will have a way to approach it. Maybe I come up with better ideas. Maybe reading comments from you guys will tell me something that I didn't think about. Like, oh, if you you would have done this, it would make this type of rock formation. We're still learning, we're still discovering, but, but you see how the green is adding these extra spots. So that way we're breaking the rock. The idea, the, the, the thing that I saw on pictures was that some of those lighthouses got all this green moss. So it breaks down the rock color at the same time. And and yeah, most of them are very black because they you know they just got this layer or very gray. And this is the color we got in Dinkum. So this is what we're working in. But I feel right now the bush was the best compliment that I that I could do. And what, what you're gonna see is I'm still gonna work on still some of those corners. Some of the sand popping out in some areas, it was bothering me, especially when I look at it from the top. So one thing that I do realize, I do realize too, is I was way too focused to looking at it from the air view of the helicopter and not enough from the actual point of view of a boat or from, from just land. Everything that I kept looking at, most of the time, at first, I was always doing the air view. And the air view is great, but it doesn't give you the best view sometimes for build, because the, this build is meant to be seen from the ocean, from a boat, from the land, maybe from, from where we got the uh, volleyball court area and that little patio area, from there. Not meant to be viewed from the very top, because as a designer, from the air view on the top, Sometimes those views are for shapes. They're not meant for the actual design of it. And you can see that when you're flying through 
farmland or just cities, right? The air view show you these cool streets and this, but when you're actually walking the city, then you have this vibe, this feeling, the items and all that. You don't get that that feel when you're flying. You get that feel when you walk in the town, you walk in the city. So once I also realized that, and that was a big game changer, then I was starting just focusing, what am I looking at when I'm standing here? When I'm looking at the surrounding, how is it feel standing down here and looking up to the lighthouse? And when I realized that, it clicked, the bill started clicking, and then I was like, okay, wait, wait a minute. Now I can start changing this here and moving this here because first, almost all my changes, that they were good changes. I needed to do those changes, but they were always focused from the from the point of view of the helicopter, never from the bottom. But once I started realizing that, I feel more confident. I felt like, okay, now I'm, that, as you see, I keep backing away and I just kept looking from different angles from the bottom and just looking at more at the, at the what I'm building, what I'm sculpting here. And once that mentality click, I feel like everything started now I was trying to do those finer details because I'm not worried for what I'm seeing from the top. And now this is when you start seeing now the finer work and everything now you can see how everything in the water, everything is kind of like making that rocky and kind of like a wave formation. Like you go high, low, high, and then some areas dip a little more, but then they come back up. And then we got water coming in from different areas where the boats are hiding some of the hard edges. And that's why you kind of want to put the boats in my opinion, or if you find something else, or maybe you, you come up something better, you know? And I already seen amazing lighthouses, you know, that have, that people have taken inspiration from this lighthouse and they've been able to make their own take on their lighthouse. And some of them are amazing and so great. And they build these big structures on the bottom. So I'm excited to see how you guys approach this, you know, and, and how you guys did it and what kind of rock formation you guys did. Maybe you guys did it just on one side. Maybe you guys did it like me, a lot of bit more on the back and not too much in the front. I'm excited. I just I'm excited because as we keep doing island tours, I'm gonna be able to see so many amazing ideas, so many amazing designs that I'm gonna be able to share with the world with people that love Dinkum. But at the same time, I wanna take that inspiration and bring it to my island and be creative with what your guys are doing. So here we are once again. I'm just tweaking it away, lowering it here, replanting stuff, grabbing what I need, and just doing the little finer details. We're gonna spam sleep again. Some of those bushes are gonna grow, just that way we can see them better. And then we're just getting closer, you know? And as the closer as we're getting, the happy I'm getting, now that I'm flying, look at this. Now, I just feel so happy. I think this was the point that I was flying. I was like, even from the air view, I was very happy the way it looks, you know? Yeah, well, I, I think, you know, if in the future we get some type of moss looking plant, very algae looking that we can actually plant on the top in the land, you know, you know, th th there's some algae already on the ocean. So you imagine we can actually get all that seaweed or stuff like that and kind of put it in the rocks you, you, where I kind of put the bushes, but you, it's like this seaweed style plant, you know, that looks a little more ocean. You never know. You know, because like I said in my last video, you never know who's listening, who's getting inspired as well. And, you know, inspiration comes in many different types of forms. And that's why we're here. You know, I'm very honored that I was able to test this and test this tool, but test it in a way that that, that I, I know I want to test them. And that's designing and testing something that this could not be done without the spring update. And this is something so important, you know, um, People that have been playing Dinkum since the early days, since it came out in early access and we're still playing it. We've seen some of the updates, we've seen some of the improvements, but this is this is some just like Waterfall, adding rocks, guys, it's game changing. Don't forget that in our gardens, in this type of formation, you wanna make a rocky mountain, you know, just a, a mountain and a hill with the ramps and have rocks and all that, you know, the landscape, the landscape of like of Dinkum is changing and it's gonna keep changing. It's not just a farm land anymore. We can make stuff, we can make rocky. We you know it's 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 an amazing 
and with the new trees and the new bushes and the new flowers, the landscape, what we can create when we say landscape is changing. It's, it's a whole new era. It's a whole new game once again and being able to test it and share and make something like this. This is two, two of the new items to make this happen. We have the diving helmet and we got the stone one. This is all we're using here. And anybody that's wondering, because maybe you don't, you, you decided not to do the test build and stuff like that. The stone one, we the way you charge it is by doing the repair kit. So make sure you start buying the repair kits uh, as much as you want every day. Keep one in stock because it's, you don't put it on a charging station or anything. You just gotta repair it and you get it back. And if you're wondering where you get the stone one, you get it in the new levels of the deep mind. It's exciting. And when you find it, you're gonna be so happy. But this is this is basically two tools and you need just the jackhammer or a pickaxe so you can break the rock. So you can just tweak it. The other tool that we're using a lot here is gonna be either the compactor or a shovel if you wanna plant something. Guys, do, do, those are all the tools that we use right here. So yeah, it's, it's an exciting uh, being able to build something like this. And here we are just, just seeing it from the ground level. I, it looks so good. Everything is feeling, everything is looking good, everything's just coming together. You know, here I am just looking at, at some of the more finer details. Maybe I'm seeing something that I want to show up a little more. Maybe I want this a little bit higher. And that's why you're seeing like I took a bush out, I put a rock. We're gonna be just tweaking a couple more times, couple more things. Here I put one lower and, and that's what we're doing. It's just getting it and at the end, this is gonna be depending if, if you already made a lighthouse. And oh, don't forget, these rock formations, you can use it for like, let, let's say you made an outpost in the ocean, you know, or something that's looking into the ocean and it's just overhanging. You can make a rock formation coming that's part of the building, you know, like, and, and, and it just, it's just giving that natural, more natural, instead of just everything being perfect, that is not bad also having things being perfect and and square and symmetry you know but when we're dealing with nature and it's just out there nature not man-made nature but just actual nature the more natural feel the more a little chaotic you know because when trees are growing in the natural world it's not planted and separated and when rocks are just everywhere in the real world they're just everywhere it's not just everything is in order but here we are and this is what we managed to do and I'm so happy you know is a lot of the thing it was just br basically bringing it over down making more the rocks feel a little more scattered let the water get in in between the rocks somehow or create the illusion of water coming in but yeah this is it this is the rock formation build that we just did created with the new tool the stone one and we could not have done this without the diving helmet that combination to work on the ocean is what made it all possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you later. Bye.